Whenever someone says the word evolution, people automatically think of apes transforming into men. But what about before the apes? They didn't just appear as is, they had to evolve as well. Believe it or not, every animal, including humans, descended from the sponge. About 600 million years ago, multiple cells combined to form a system, and the sponge was born. Some want to classify the sponge as an animal, but the structure of its cells and DNA are similar enough that it's recognized as the predecessor of all animals. The next evolutionary step was the creation of worms, which had the advantage of mobility. From there, animals started gaining limbs, organs, and muscles. The first animals to reach land were the arthropods, but they soon returned to the ocean, as it would be a few million years before they evolved enough to survive above water. Most early evolution occurred in the sea, Sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and starfish were the next majorly evolved creatures and possessed nervous systems which allowed them to move and swim. After that came fish. Fish were an important part of evolution, as they were the first animals with characteristics such as eyes, ears, teeth, and limbs. There are three types of fish, cartilaginous, jawless fish, and bony fish. Fish were also the first to evolve organs and vertebrae. As I said earlier, arthropods had once visited land but couldn't move there permanently. Over millions of years, however, they adapted waterproof skin, support systems that let them travel on land, and ways of reproducing away from water. The other major group to conquer land was the tetrapods, the first of which were amphibians. Amphibians adapted so that they could move freely between land and water. Reptiles were the first to become completely independent of water, thanks to the evolution of the amniotic egg, its hard shell allowed the embryo to develop in a yolk rather than underwater. While reptiles dominated the land, birds took over the skies as the first warm-blooded animals. However, birds are a prime example of how evolution is not always progressive, as many breeds died out over time. The final major group of land animals is mammalia, which evolved from a branch of reptiles. It's funny to think that we evolved from worms, or that we share a common ancestor with animals such as flamingos or alligators, but scientific study and evidence from the fossil record show that the animal kingdom began at a specific point, and that evolution is the reason there are so many diverse species today, including, of course, human beings.